What's up, boys? Taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Picks. Prize Picks, my favorite website and app to take a look at some NBA player props. We're doing it once again today. And today, Giannis is on a discount here. If I move my face here, he's on a discount on Prize Picks. 25.5 points he's at right now. That's huge. If you guys are not on Prize Picks, you guys are missing out. There's going to be another deal later tonight. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, uh, but they're voting for it right now on, I believe, Twitter. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be another discount. They do this all the time on Prize Picks. You guys are messing up if you're not already on Prize Picks. Highly recommend joining. Use code DOMG when you guys go ahead and sign up. They match your first deposit 100% up to $100. They're available in most states and in Canada, but it's 100% deposit match up to $100, $100 using code DOMG. So if you guys deposit 60, they'll match it. They'll give you guys $120 total to play with. So pretty awesome deal uh, right there on Prize Picks. So. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk about these player props here. I'm going to talk about the Giannis Taco and then two other props here. And I'm so, I'm super confident in the other two props. Not, it's, obviously, I could be as confident as I want. Doesn't mean it's going to hit. So, always do your own research. Always tail everything at your own risk. But it's two guys that I've been riding for a long time. And I'm riding it till the wheels fall off tonight, man. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and talk about those guys. If you guys have been around the channel or on the Patreon, you guys know what I'm talking about uh, for these props more than likely. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about these here. So, let's go ahead and do that now. But yesterday was one and two, man. We got hooked twice. The two losses were a hook. Wendell Carter Jr., over 15 and a half points. The Magic were tanking, and it was very obvious. They were down two points, and the entire fourth quarter, their starters never came in. That was very annoying. We got hooked on Wendell Carter there. He had 15 points. We needed him to have 16. Davion Mitchell hit his over 17 and a half points, so that was great. And then Nikola Jokic, he had 26 out of his, and we needed 27 for him. So we got hooked twice. Very, very painful right there, so that kind of sucked. An L of a day, unfortunately, and just barely, man. It sucks, those kind of days. Especially, I feel like hooks are a lot worse than just getting blown out on a uh, prop. But, and we'll just go and take a look at these here. So, we'll start off with the Giannis Taco here. We're just going to make this one super simple here. I feel like this is most, most, a lot of people will obviously like this one, including myself. He's a minus 290 to go ahead and go over this. So that's great value right here. 77% hit rate this season. 8 out of 10 hit rate in his last 10 games. He's 2 for 2 versus Philadelphia this season with 31 in the first matchup. And 32 in the second matchup. He also has an 86% hit rate with two days rest. So this is a great prop here. A lot of value here. We'll take a look at this one. It's going to be really quick and simple because I think this one's a pretty self-explanatory prop with all the um, value here. So it doesn't mean it's going to hit, but there's a lot of value here. But power forward uh, versus the 76ers here. It's a one-point spread, 231 over-under. Beautiful right here. We love the high spreads with the low sp I'm sorry, the low spreads with the high over-unders. Great. Always love it. Let's take a look at the power forward here versus um, the 76ers. So 76ers here are allowing the third least amount of points to the power forward so far this season. And in the last seven games here, the 76ers are allowing the second least amount of points to the power forward position. So it's definitely going to be a tough matchup for Giannis, but he's proved he can get it done before, and it's on a discount. So I'm liking this a lot to go over 25 and a half. I don't like it to go over 29 and a half. Uh, I don't like the full game. So, but uh, I do like the over 25 and a half right now on prize picks. Another reason why I guess should be joining, man. Always, every Tuesday, they do these deals all the time. Definitely recommend joining. Again, use code DUMG. But let's go and take a look at two more props here. They're both going to be first half props. You guys know what I'm talking about more than likely. If you guys have been around on the channel, we'll start off with our main guy here, Jalen Brunson. It's my favorite prop of the day, man. Jalen Brunson over seven and a half points. He has hit this in 12 straight games. He has gone over seven and a half first half points. And he also had 15 in both matchups versus the Lakers this season. So he's killed this prop in two games this season versus the Lakers. It's a very, very good look. He's averaging 9.6 in his last five here. I mean, you can take a look right here on Stat Muse. I put in Jalen Brunson first half game log versus the Lakers. And this is what came up. Two games from this season, 15 and 15. We only need eight. So Brunson, clutch up today, my man. We're riding you once again until the wheels fall off. So we take a look at the first half game log here. And you can see how many games he's hit. He had 8, 9, 12, 9, 10, 15, 10, 9, 8, 12, 9, 15. I mean, he hasn't gone under since February. He's gone over his first half points every single game in in March. That's insane. So he did miss against the Warriors and the Utah Jazz there. But, man, we're riding Jalen Brunson again tonight, man. This is my favorite prop of the day by far. Um, but shooting guard here versus the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, we'll take a look at the matchup as well. It's 11 half point spread, which does matter, but it is a first half prop. So uh, 219 and a half also for the over under there. So not too horrible of a look, but could be a lot better. Uh, Lakers here though. I mean, they're allowing a ton of points to the shooting guard here. Three, six, nine, 10, 11. They're 11. They're, they are allowing the 11th most points. 
per game to the shooting guard this season. Last seven games here, they are allowing three, six, nine. They're allowing the tenth most, I think. If I counted that right, I might, I might not have. <laughs> Uh, the 10th most points to the uh, shooting guard per game this season. I'm sorry, in the last seven games. So, yeah, it's a uh, pretty good spot here for Jalen Brunson, for sure. That's one that I'm definitely loving today. And the other one, I think, is for some reason a little bit more pro uh, popular than the Brunson player. That's Andre Drummond. Drummond, don't get me wrong, has killed this prop. I mean, look at this. 15, 9, 10, 13, 10. In his last five games here, he's having to get 11.4 in his last five games here. It's a very, very good spot here versus Detroit today. So, I know Detroit is a tough team, though, against the center, so we'll take a look at this one. But he's on the Brooklyn Nets here. So it's a 13.5 point spread. That's pretty huge. And a 234 over-under, though, is beautiful right here. Love the 234 over-under. So we'll take a look into this one here. So let's take a look at the center points versus the Detroit Pistons. And the Pistons here are allowing the 3, 6, 7, 8. They're allowing the 8th least amount of points per game to the center position so far this season. And in the last seven games here, they are allowing the fifth least, the fifth least amount of points per game to the center position in the last seven games. So they've been a very, very tough defense, but he's killed it, man. I'm going to rock with Andre Drama again till the wheels fall off, man. So he's been uh, pretty great this season, or I'm sorry, in the last couple of games at least. I mean, he's he's hit in eight of his last 10 games. He's hit in seven straight, I do believe. Uh, and he's one for two versus Detroit this season, but both were with Philadelphia. So take a look at that, but... Yeah, he's going over in seven straight here. He missed against Philadelphia. I uh, went over against Charlotte, missed against Boston. So those were the couple games that he missed. But we'll take a look at uh, versus Detroit. Put that in there. We can see his game logs versus Detroit. So he was on the Philadelphia 76ers. Now he's on the Brooklyn Nets. He had seven in the first matchup, zero in the second. Or that was the first matchup, actually. And this was the second where he had seven. But uh, he did uh, get in huge foul trouble the first time. So, But he didn't really – he didn't have any fouls last time. So – I think it could be a pretty good spot for sure for Andre Drummond, a guy who's been killing his props lately for the first half. I'm going to rock with him again tonight, man. Just got to hope he kind of stays out of foul trouble and hope everything goes to plan here with Brunson and Andre Drummond. So great looking props in my opinion today. I'm very, very excited for tonight, assuming those go well. Otherwise, I'm going to be uh, pretty sad by the end of the night. But uh, those are my two favorites for sure uh, for tonight. But uh, that's pretty much going to do it, man. Again, go on prize picks. Use code DOMG when you guys go and sign up. Available in most states and in Canada. 100% deposit match up to $100. There's going to be another taco coming out here. I'm not sure what the taco is yet. I can actually take a look uh, right now and see what it will probably be. Uh, for those of you who are wondering about joining prize picks or not. But the other one here from later tonight is going to be Donovan Mitchell. So I don't know what his uh, what the prop's going to be, though. So, Yeah. All right, uh, that's pretty much gonna do it though. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's have a great night tonight. Hopefully you guys, you hopefully you guys hit as well. And uh, that's gonna do it, man. Tail your own risk. Always doing research, all the different stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.